And hello, everyone! My name is Konohan, I'm here with my sister Rose. Hello! And last time, we did a lot more social links, and this time we're gonna do even more social links. And yeah! Pro we're Prepare pro food for Yuki-chan. Well, let me check the forecast, actually. Um, okay. We're probably gonna finally reach the point where we have more story stuff within the next few days, I think, with ju look, judging and by the rain got stuff. rain on the forecast, so... Tomorrow know. we get to hang out with Yukiko, then we'll have some, a few rainy days. So... We're gonna make some food. We gotta make it for Yukiko. Okay, surprisingly, you have the ingredients to make Daigaku Imo. Make Daigaku Imo. Okay. The, bo the lunch making in this game is bullshit, so I'm uh, already getting the guide ready. Okay, you made the sweet sauce. How should you prepare the sweet potato? Okay. Um. What is this called? Takaku. Something. Deep fry. You stir the sweet sauce into the fried sweet potato. It came perfectly. It looks delicious. Gin crunchy daigaku aimo. Oh, fuck. Achievement unlocked. Cooking with gas. Epic. Okay. Now we'll share this with Yukiko. Sorry, Yosuke. I'm so sorry, Yosuke. I love okay, you. Okay, we're gonna share this with Yukiko. I get to voice act her. Because today's Yukiko Thursday. Yasukami High Rooftop. You ate lunch with Yukiko. You ate crunchy daigaku aimo together. Wow, this oh, it's really good. good. Did you make this on your own, Yuku? The flavor's excellent, the presentation's great too. Do you want to work as a chef at our place? I'm just kidding. Though, you'd be more than welcome to if you wanted. It was Yuko's favorite. You feel like your relationship is going to become closer soon. Okay. Yosuke loves everything we cook. Today, we'll look at Yukichi Fukuzawa's Gakuma no Susumi, or an encouragement of learning. Now open up your textbooks. I don't know if this is the voice I gave the puppet before, before but I think it's fitting, so... This Gakuman no Susumi as a reference to the U.S. Declaration of Independence. It's apparent once you start reading, there's a famous line at the beginning. It's said that heaven does not create one man above or below the other man. Gakuman no Susumi is famous for this line. However, it is said portion. The it is said portion shows that it's a reference. So this famous quote is a quotation in itself. Are you listening, Yu Chan? What is the beginning of Gakuman no Susumi a reference to? The the Declaration of Independence. Yes. You have the answer you think is correct. Yes, it is referencing the U.S. Declaration of Independence. For writing Gakuman no Susumi, Fukuzawa wrote Seiyo Jijo, or Conditions of the West. In that book, he actually translates the entire declaration into Japanese. So he similarly used the reference in Gakuman no Susumi. Well, let's move on. Any existing distinction between the wise and the stupid? You have the correct answer. You're so fucking smart. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get okay. there in no time. Let's Yukiko see. time. Yukiko time. What are our stats at? I'm just curious. How are we doing on this? We've got... We've got level 4 expression and level 4 courage and level 3 knowledge. I wish we could look at er everybody's, like... I know! What That'd be so awesome if we could see what... If they, like, put it in a value for all our other characters. For, like, know, all the right? rest of the party stats as well. Just because it would be kind of funny to know. Yeah, because, like, with... I know it's different, but with, like, uh... What's her Like, name? when we did, like, in Persona what? 3 FES, when you get control over Igis during the answer... You can it see her stats. You can see her stats. She has a value for them. Hi, Yuko. Oh, hi, Yuko. Yuko's not busy. We're gonna become closer. Yes. Okay. Yuko looks happy. Jun's grocery department. Yukiko brought you here. I wrote down everything I need, so this shouldn't take that long. What are you making? Uh, uh, Almost you won't laugh. Miso soup. Yukiko looks a bit embarrassed. I'm studying the basics of the basics. But it's not turning out quite like it does in the book, even though I'm following directions. Uh. Let's, uh. Uh, keep practicing. What do, you, what do you think? Keep practicing? Uh, sure. If you think. Or... See, like, want me to teach you is kind of romancy, which we don't want to go for, but at the same time, one, we get to... As soon as it's actually, like, 
activating the, gonna activate the romance, we get the option to say no, you know? Mm. It's kind of like, and I know the romancy signing options often give you big points, which is why I'm thinking we maybe go with that. Alright. What do you think? Thoughts? Uh, I mean... No thoughts had empty. Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, it would make sense, considering, uh, you knows how to Google a recipe. Um... But, let's go keep practicing. I don't know, I, mean, I just don't want to get too... That's true, maybe it sounds a bit too... Yeah, alright, we'll, we'll, we'll keep practicing. Yes, practice makes perfect. Okay, she liked that. It was only two notes and not three, but... I think it's fine. I think there's no point unless I do it alone. Our cooks help me out all the time. At first they just give me advice, but eventually they take the knife from me. So even if the meal turns out wonderfully, it doesn't... yeah. Sorry, she said leave. it doesn't mean anything at all. It doesn't mean anything. I told them to leave me alone, but they still stay and watch. You know. Hmm. Are they that worried about my cooking? They care about you. They care about me? Do you really think so? You could look surprised, but happy. Nice, nice. Last time the head chef took the knife from me, shouting, I can't stand to watch anymore! And she made the rest. The waitress saw it and said to the cook, Yukiko wants to make it herself, even if it's awful. Before I knew it, I was like, Stu studying how to cook for a boy, like. <laughs> my parents got involved and exploded from there. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? But maybe it wasn't all a lie. Okay. <laughs> Yukiko is blushing. You felt a faint hint of love from Yukiko. <laughs> I love how her blush face also looks a little bit sinister. Okay, rank six. Where do we get the choice to? I'm just curious. It's usually around like eight or nine, I think. I've been looking a little bit into this stuff. I gotta say, the emotional connection I felt with Yosuke was very strong. Yeah. <laughs> Except for Yukiko's growth of heart has affected her persona as well. Emrita, what does that do? Cures all ailments except down in K- Okay, it's like a better Maypatra. Epic. So, we want that. Yeah. Amrita has replaced Maypatra. Um... Oh yeah, shopping. Ah. <sighs> Alright, let's go home. Yup, you could go with her shopping and walk home partway together. You're back. You're home. Okay. Food? Where are we with this? Okay, seven days. Food in the fridge? I saw your paper strip. Nanako's happy to see it too. Try and play with Nanako when you can. Last spring I was worried that you and her might not get along, but I'm glad to see it didn't turn out that way. Today's Tanabata. We wrote our wishes today at school. What'd you wish for? Uh, world peace. Or Yimi said was gonna grant it. <laughs> fridge? Nothing. Okay. I wonder why none of our social links are available tonight. Yeah, can't I guess go we're... out. Let's see. Uh, I don't need to save. We just saved earlier today. Okay. Yeah, so, I guess work on stuff. Do we want to... Do we want to translate or study? Hmm. I think we can get pretty far with studying, so maybe we'll level up. Okay, we'll study. You decide to study. Your knowledge has increased. Your knowledge increased again. You are smart. You are so smart. Okay, today's a rainy day, so we'll get our beef bowl, beef, and then... Beef, beef, Okay, we'll get our beef bowl, and then we'll read tonight. Okay. Beef bowl reading tonight. Beef bowl reading tonight. How are we doing for time right now? Okay. Sometimes I, when we do these big bulk recording sessions, I just kind of lose track of how long we've been doing one particular video for. Yeah. Okay. It's just too fun. It is very fun. Okay, Central Shopping District. Well, let's keep moving. Do, 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 do. 
Now let's see. Beef bowl time. Can we do it? I don't think we can. You need like all sorts of stuff. You need hot you and you need to be like high in it. You need like understanding, whatever that was, courage, diligence, like you probably need to max that stuff out. Hmm. Knowledge, courage, diligence. Too bad, mister. Thanks, Aya man. Fishing your meal, you went home. Hi, Nanako. Any food? Nothing. How much time do we have on this? Six. Six. Okay. We'll read. Because yeah. it's a rainy day. Rainy day. Rainy day reading is the best reading. Yep. Read. Keep reading the ramen re way. Yeah. Because I feel like it's going to be good in the long, long, it's long gonna... run. Okay. Knowledge increased. Knowledge has changed from expert to professor. Oh, epic. So I so guess, did we max out? Nope. That's oh. level four. What's level five? I don't know. I haven't played this game before. <laughs> What's <laughs> level five? Is the brain is leaking out of your ears. Okay, rain's not letting up today. Ooh. Okay. We're still waiting, so today's another rainy day. I guess we'll just get another beef bowl. While yeah. we're at it. Why not? Alrighty. Because, you know, really, we don't have much better to do. Yeah, I wish we could super examine our skill charts just to know how much we need to push everything. I know, how many points we need. Because right now, let's see, our status. Right now, yeah. Level 4 expression, level 4 knowledge, level 4 courage. Level 3 diligence, level 2 understanding. Not horrible. Mm -hmm. we'll, for we'll focus more on the other two after we max out the three we've we're close to maxing out. All right. Because those three we need the most because we need expression maxed out for Nanako. And in the future, we're going to need courage and knowledge maxed out for another uh, investigation team member social link. Mm -hmm. So, that's important, you know? Yeah. Okay. So that's why I want these three, those three maxed out as soon as possible. Understandable. Okay. Need understanding, knowledge, courage, diligence. One day we will get it. Understanding, courage, diligence. Thanks, sir. We go home. We need the ramen. <laughs> Do we have to watch? Is it time to watch the Midnight Channel yet? Oh, it might be. Seems like we might be getting story now. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later yep, tonight. Yep, seems like it. It's time. It's, it seems the fog will set in tonight. Oh, it's time. All right, boys. Well, let's see. Nothing. Five days. Well, I guess we just gotta go up and... Yeah. Go. Watch the Midnight Channel. Uh, yeah. It's safe today. So, here we go. Here we go. We get to see we piss someone off. It's midnight. Ticking of the clock. Gets ever louder. Yeah. The fog is set in. Nothing there. No one is appearing on the Midnight Channel. Since Risei has been rescued, it seems the killer was thwarted this time. Yay. Fog is covering the town. Oh, that's it. <laughs> He's too angry to even brood in the fog. <gasps> oh? Oh? Oh no! Huh? Ah! Uh! What the fuck happened? Ah! That's a dead man! Wait, 
Wait, how? We should have seen someone on the channel! You can hear sirens in the distance. I guess the killer just got so pissed that we saved Rise that they said, Fuck it, no more throwing people in the TV, I'm taking direct action! And just Good kill Lord. the dude. You can hear the sirens in the distance. Did something happen? Doesn't even seem drained of blood. Your cell phone is ringing. It's from Chie. Did you hear yet? No. Who? Was it? Of course, of course, girl. Jay hung up. Oh my Are god. Are we gonna be able to go to Junez right now? You're sure that you rescued Rusei? Oh, yeah. It would be best if you hurried to Junez. Oh my god. Hi guys. Hey, over here. Where are Yosuke and Risei? That's a good question. Yosuke went over to check out the scene. Oh, okay. He be back okay, soon. he's smart. There he goes. Yeah, it was murder, all right. The body was hanging upside down on an apartment's rooftop railing. Jesus. But how could that... That's not all. The victim this time, it was King Moron. <laughs> Damn, who's gonna, who's gonna teach us now? You get what you fucking deserve. Bitch. <laughs> Never mind, I don't feel I don't feel bad anymore. I have zero regrets. King Moron? Uh, you mean that King Moron? Senpai's homeroom teacher? That's what you fucking get for barfing Yo, in the water you know, that we were you, in. You know what, though? <laughs> that might be a direct threat. How so? Um, it's our homeroom teacher. If the person knows who we are or has oh, seen shit. us- Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah, you're right. If that's our that's our homeroom teacher, if they know that four out of the seven people trying to bring him down are in that class, then yeah, that's kind of a threat. Yeah. Fuck. Why? It's threat. What on earth is going on here? It sounds like a threat. How am I supposed to know? But I talked to a guy there who saw it. It's true. There's no mistake. This doesn't make any sense, though. You gotta be shitting me. Ain't the killer targeting people who get shown on TV? Maybe the- This was a direct threat, I'm telling you, Kanji. I've never seen King Moron on the Midnight Channel or- <laughs> That would be terrifying, <gasps> seeing King Moron on the Midnight Channel. Oh, that would be disgusting. I would hate that. Why did this happen? I would not want him on I the team. we finally figured some things out. Were they all just a big coincidence? Also, I realized, oh yeah, Rise is still, like, recovering after the- after the whole incident, Yo. so that's why she's not with us. What if we got but, Maya as our homeroom teacher? They just bring in Persona 3 teacher. Oh, the Persona 3 teacher, okay. Yeah. Right, that was her screen name. I doubt it, I think she's still she's probably still teaching at GeckoCon. Mm. <laughs> Maybe the Midnight Channel doesn't have anything to do with this. That wouldn't make sense, though. We came so far, and now we're back to square one! It's to throw us off the scent, and also we threaten- our heads, trying to catch a culprit that even the police couldn't find? Um... It's too early to give up. Damn straight! Or, also, you know what happens when a- somebody doing shit like this become- get- becomes well-known? Impersonators. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. So... Maybe the idea isn't that- maybe it could even be that somebody just fucking killed King Moron and hung him up, you know? Yeah. Who knows? Might have been some vengeful kid that's, that's like, worse cause, than Kanji. Cause that's the only, like, explanation I can think of for as to why somebody that was not thrown into the TV would end up turning up dead the same way as the TV victims, you know? Yeah. We started this thing cause the police can't tell their asses from their elbows. Yeah. Yeah. We give up now, and that shithead's gonna be on the loose forever. Exactly. Save the time for bitching and moaning. We just gotta keep on keeping on. Yeah. This laptop is getting Can't slowly closer and closer to our faces. Yeah, I'm just trying to keep it adjusted well. Yeah. Okay. So that. Huh. Big talk from someone like you, Kanji. Just trying to move it over this way a Wink little. Wonk. What? What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> I know. <laughs> We're dealing with a murderer here, but we've all risked our lives to get this far. Yeah, let's keep risking him. No way we'll back down. Yeah, right? exactly. And we promised the bear We're too. Insane. He has a name. Hey, that's right. Maybe Teddy knows <gasps> something about We're gonna this. see him. Well, since moping around won't do us any good, 
Let's go see him. Do you think he got some stuffing back after last time? Please, please, I don't want to see fucked please, up Please, don't Teddy be flat anymore. anymore. I am businessman. There's staff here? Now that's unusual. Uh-oh. Hmm. Hi there. Did something happen? Ah, Yosuke-kun. Okay. Great timing. Did the manager tell you anything about this? What's up? There's been this weird mascot around our Oh my god! Uh oh so some kind of campaign on today. Teddy! Teddy! Oh Teddy, what did you he do? Said his name was uh what was it? Terry Eddie? Teddy. Well, there are no Teddy, what did you do? Around, so I guess it's fine. I better get back to my station. Teddy. Teddy? 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 Please don't tell me. He escaped. He's coming for us. Teddy on the loose! Teddy on the loose! Dude! Really hits the spot. You really just be in there. Teddy! What the? I mean, how'd you... It took you guys long enough. I've been waiting. He's waiting a week Teddy, straight okay at Tunis. <laughs> Narrowly avoiding Yosuke. Of course I can come out. There's an exit. Then why haven't you done it yet? Oh. Okay. All right then. Spending time with you all sparked my curiosity about this world. Well, welcome to the real world, Teddy. I wonder if it was a good idea, but my feet started moving before I could decide. Ah. And when I thought about it, I had nowhere to go, and it was a waste to go back. So I waited here for you. Nice, Teddy. Someone asked for my name, so I told them I'm Teddy. With that exact inflection. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's something we need to ask you. How long have you been here, Teddy? Did anyone enter the other world? Not that he knows of, probably. The fog settled in on my side, but no one came. Hmm. You're positive. You really didn't sense a single person. Something about this just doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. I just said that I didn't. I was there all by myself, like always. Huh. And your nose wasn't clogged or anything? Aren't you listening? I was utterly, totally, and 100% alone. That's why I came over here. So clearly this... But I can understand something's different about this me. one. My yeah. My senses aren't that good lately anyways. I believe you. Oh, Sensei's heart is radiating pure kindness. <laughs> well, it's true that the Midnight Channel was blank last night. Exactly. And even before that, Teddy says he didn't sense anything, right? Yeah. Does that mean King Moron was never on that side? Hmm. Uh, what's going on? Hey, hey, I want to go somewhere. Let's go see a murder I scene, Teddy. Time, dude. You seriously don't plan on going back, do you? Where do you want to go, anyway? <laughs> I love that comedy face. I want to give this to Risei-chan. It's for her. What do you have? Glasses. Oh, it's the glasses. You received glasses from Teddy. Risei-chan will probably back us up from now on. So yeah. So I'm gonna fight alongside you with everything I got. Oh, nice! Yay, Teddy on the team! The same cute little Teddy. I'm an all-new model. I have a powerful attack, an unbeatable defense, and a winning smile. Oh, and also <laughs> this <laughs> pulls out like Teddy. a human heart wow. and puts it back <laughs> a in. New legend. Teddy has joined the group as a frontline fighter. He'll definitely be a strong asset in your battle against the shadows. Investigation team up! Yay! Investigation team social link has reached level 5. Your power to create personas of the fool arcana has grown. Uh oh, people are starting to stare. Keep it down, will you, Ted? Come on, let's go somewhere else. <laughs> Everyone's just like, there is a bear. Well, Yosuke, Teddy lives at Junez now, I guess. Okay, just to make sure, I'm gonna ask you one last time. It's just here. Nobody was he over took there Yosuke's except for seat. you until the fog came back. That's what I've been saying. Teddy looks so much bigger here. I know. Why? He didn't show up on the Midnight Channel either. What's up with that? Yeah. No clue. But I think we can be sure now that King Moron was never thrown into the TV. Exactly. Then what? He was killed over here? Why not throw him into a TV like all the rest? 
They never intended to. They never intended to? So you're saying he wasn't like the other victims to begin with? But why? Hmm. Maybe the culprit thought he couldn't kill any more people by throwing them into TVs. I mean, we prevented his last three attacks true. in a row. True, true, true. But I can just give up like that. I get mm. you. That could be it. Hmm. So they snuffed someone on our side this time to make sure it worked. Mayhaps? Damn it. If that's true, then we have no way of preventing more murders unless we catch the killer. Huh. We need more clues. I wonder if Risei chans up and around yet. Yeah, we'll have to put our hopes on her. Oh yeah, because she's got analysis abilities, so that'll probably help out. It's so hot out. I'm taking this off. What? <gasps> Teddy! Wait, you're not talking about your head, are you? Smack! The, there's kids watching! <laughs> They'll be scarred for life if they see an empty mascot walking around. And a little consideration, man. Dude. I'm glad you're back to normal, though. Your fur's all fuzzy again. Yeah, that's good. Uh, can not. I, can, can I feel it? <laughs> no. Kanji. I love no. Kanji. He's she adorable. No longer a hollow bear. <gasps> <laughs> oh. Yay! I trained and trained, hoping to someday score with Chie-chan and Yuki-chan. I'm so and sure you I don't know what that means. I, I'm so sure that Teddy does not know what score means. But how does that work? Good job with that. Come on, can't we give it a rest with the whole scoring thing? Dude, you're hollow. Taking your head off isn't gonna cool you down. But I just told you, I'm not hollow anymore! Let's see, Train. let us see! It's too hot! I can't Trains see. until I have insides. Right? Uh, oh. Yay, yay! Uh, <laughs> Makes Kaji's bear face. noise. Horrified <laughs> oh! oh no, he's naked underneath. Much he's better. beautiful. No way. Everyone's like, oh no, he's hot. What? <laughs> he's like, I made sure to give myself a charming look. Atlas, suddenly I forgive now you for hit the spot. Atlas, suddenly I forgive you for your homophobia. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, Chie chan Yuki chan. Your voice shifted. Yes. Your voice does not match your face. Do you have anything to wear? I'm basically like a newborn at the moment. <laughs> Can we appreciate how he asks the girls if they have anything to wear? I know, I love it. Teddy? Is that really you? Uh Hey Kanji, how you feel? Wait, did you say so now, imagine my confusion when, when I played Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, Teddy would sometimes have a win animation where he comes out of the suit, and then I get to actually playing this game and he's empty inside. <laughs> imagine the pure confusion I felt. This is just <laughs> like, I'm like, it's, it, so I've like, been waiting for this, but also that was like the best way of doing it. That's like a thing about like, being spoiled for some things, you just don't know how it's going to go down. Yeah, I guess so. Um, my God, that cutscene. Pain no, don't in my brain, Barbara. but also. You need some clothes, right? Come on, let's go look around. I love how he's literally sparkling. So, like, how did he just train until he got a human body? Teddy. <laughs> got he you. said he's not hollow anymore. So, like. He grew himself a body in there? Kanji, I feel you. I guess... I'm well, so confused, Kanji. Okay, <laughs> the only way I can make some sense of this is... We already know he had the out. ability to just kind of mysteriously produce pairs of glasses. Oh, true. So he can create matter somehow. It, magical matter at that, so, so... His body might be made of magic and glass? I guess he could just make a body the same way he can just make glasses. What kind of creature would do that? Teddy! A lone one. What is he? He's a friend, is what friend he is. Shaped. And again, this is hardly the first bizarre thing we've seen. That was amazing. And that I was incredible. I was charmed. Than walking around in his bear suit. Yeah! Oh, hey, weren't we gonna see about talking to Rise? 
I was so shocked that I lost track of what we were talking about. Goodness, I just... Are we gonna be Let's able to social with place. Teddy, like, Let's automatically, of course, but, like... Wait, we're already so... Yeah, we already get... Yeah, get automatically, automatic but moment. also more with his suit off. Yeah, I would like that. Because he's fun. I love the human form. You want home to change before heading to the shopping district. Well, that just happened. <laughs> My god. Hey, boys. Mm -hmm. It's finally the season for Topsicles again. Topsicles? Why are you Dude, going How many that? are you going to eat? You're gonna get a stomach ache. Of many. Sorry we're late. How'd it take you that long to find clothes for Ted? He liked all of them. Oh! Hey! Whoa. I is that you, Teddy? Oui, monsieur. How do I look? Where did you learn French? <laughs> Where did you learn French? What is up with you? He's adorable. He is adorable. C'est magnifique. magnifique. Uh, don't encourage him. <laughs> I have to say, he totally blew my mind. But he's Teddy, alright. Teddy coming fresh out of the womb with his charm at max level. Right? God. <laughs> He made it sure. Huge ordeal. Everything was new to him, so it turned into a big mess. Teddy. So excited in the women's section that he started blabbering. Dude. Hey, hey. You just go around doing whatever you please when you're in this form. Got it? He's like Teddy. He likes the dresses. Well, he can't help it. It's his first time yeah. in the world. Yeah. Oh, you go nice. All right. You don't need to get all mopey like that. I never said I won't forgive you. Oh. I'm so glad. I was worried that you didn't like Teddy. me anymore. Dude, Teddy's got issues. Oh, Teddy, you're great, and also I love your human form. If you can behave yourself, you'll be pretty cute. Is he cute? What do you think, Kanji? Kanji? <laughs> well, you Cause you're gay. <laughs> well, I was just wondering if he was your type. <laughs> oh, I get it. Now what we're you're just really chill now. Asking is. Will you please beat the shit out of me, Kanji? <laughs> <laughs> At least Yosuke is getting a bit more comfortable with it. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad about that. <laughs> <laughs> you dorks. I love it. Funny, Yukiko Senpai. It's gonna pretty laugh funny, Kanji. Ka Kanji. I can't fucking speak. <sighs> You'll have to forgive Yukiko. She's helpless when she gets this way. Uh. Oh, please, everyone. Don't find <laughs> me, baby. Teddy! <laughs> I was born. You pick it up with me. Teddy! <laughs> Teddy says, I am pansexual because the colors are pretty. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, well. I love that Kanji chose. Yosuke handed a 1,000 yen bill to Kanji. Here, Kanji. Get whatever ice cream you want. Just share it with Teddy. We're gonna head for the tofu shop. Wait Did, are you trying to setting up him up with Teddy? <laughs> wow. You are rich. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Teddy. I can't just take this from you. <laughs> Think of it as a welcome back party for Teddy. Just <laughs> well, none of the, making a racket. Well, none of the girls are gonna date Teddy, and I'm not gonna date Teddy, so I guess I'll set him up with Kaji. <laughs> right. He's like, come on, no, come on, you let's go smooch around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. You might say differently, but you're still nice to Teddy. I'm glad Yosuke's developing into such My God. a mature adult. Someone who doesn't let trifles <laughs> bother him. What? What? You're worrying, Michie. <laughs> oh, it's about Teddy's guys. That's all. We didn't have the money for them, so we charged the rest to you. Oh! oh! Mean! Charge? What? You put it on my account? What? what the hell, Chie? I never said you could do that. Why does she have his Why do you have money? his account? Why do you have his bank account? To do? That stuff was expensive, even for Junette. What? You... What? You seriously charged it to me? Why would you do that? You know I just bought a motorcycle. I'm broke. Dude. If you're already broke, a little more debt isn't going to make much of a difference. My God, Chie! I'm mad. Come on, baby. Stop fighting over. <laughs> Teddy's you know. with that line. Now's not the time. 
You listen here, Ted. You better take really, really, really good care of that. I am mad, but your clothes are fine. A single tear in it. I'll make your next set of clothes out of the bear hide you took off. Ah, uh -huh. Teddy. <laughs> it argues with you. Don't let it get you down. Oh. Uh. Go get some topsicles. <laughs> what are they For Teddy, topsicles? it's more like bottom sickles. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, maybe it would. They're gonna be a while. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> what you thinking, huh? Or is Kanji the one that has the bottom sickle? Because <laughs> he acts tough on the outside. But... <laughs> Gay rights. Is YouTube gonna get mad at me? <laughs> no. Oh boy. I had a feeling you'd come. You oh. are. Are you here to ingratiate yourself with Rise Kujikawa now? Ingratiate. Jeez, why did the clerk even let them charge it to someone else? <laughs> right? Wait. You're that guy we saw with Kanji. Precisely. I don't believe we've met since then. In fact, I don't believe I've ever introduced myself. Except we already know your name from the opening My and from other Naoto sources. Shiragane. Hi, Nato. I'm investigating the multiple murders that have occurred here. Mm. Mind if I ask you a few questions on the subject? Not at all. Victim Kinshiro Muraoka. He was a teacher at the school you all attend, correct? Indeed, he was. So what? The public is focused on the fact that he is associated with the second victim's school, but in truth, that's irrelevant. I know what it. What intrigues me is the inconsistency. Yeah. Exactly. Oka has never appeared on television. <gasps> They're right on our friggin' Damn. What do you make of that? How are we supposed to know? We're just teenagers. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> we are normal teenagers. We are not investigating a murder. For my part, I'd like to solve this case as quickly as possible. Same, bro. As would we. I'll be keeping an eye on you all. Well then, until we meet again. Dang, dude. Okay, Who see ya. Who is that guy? It felt That's like Naruto Shiroga. He saw through us. He even knew about the TV thing. Yeah. He's like, so T8. TVs, huh? Hi, Risa. <gasps> Risa! Look at her! Risa-chan! you okay now? Good, good. Flirt immediately. Are you all here to check up on me? Yes. Well, yeah. Oh, um, do you guys have a moment? There's something I want to tell you. Follow me. My grandma's okay. taking care of the shop today. Hmm. Huh? Sure. Okay. That's a Hime shrine. Ooh. Yeah, I remember being at my house. Okay. When I came to, though. I was already in the other world. Ah, Still no real God. information on the killer. Hmm. We met this weird kid named Naoto a second ago. Oh. He's come to the shop several times. Hmm. He asked me a lot about the incident. I think one of the important things to note is the fact that... The killer never seems to... Do anything like... Rash, I guess. Nothing, like... Doesn't seem to brute force it, you know? Yeah. Like, rang the doorbell at Yukiko's family's inn, you know, um... I think both... Kanji... Like, Kanji seemed to have just, like... What was the details from Ka that Kanji gave us? He was walking down the street or he something. He seemed to just have, like, left already, like... I didn't just, tell him anything hmm. about the other world, though. I figured it'd be a waste of time. Actually, he asked me about you guys, too, but I just made up some stuff. Why like, did this? They found me unconscious on the roof at Jeunesse. Thanks, Risei. I appreciate it. Nice job. Well, I guess that's close enough to the truth. Yeah. Um, so... Hmm. Hmm? What's up? Um... I really appreciate what you did for me. 
And you want to join our team? Oh my god! You guys. Huh? Oh, you don't have to thank us. Suddenly happy mode. Dude. She's so cute. I'm right with you, Yosuke. I'm right with you. hitting me that you're the real deal. You really are reset. Well, I know I sounded gloomy and all from stress, so I, I thought you might not like me that way. We like you, however. Do I you sound weird? like you no matter oh, what. But I guess it sounds more natural this way to the public. I'm sorry. I've practically lost touch with what the normal me is like. You have identity <laughs> crisis. No it's fine. Just do what comes In fact, I still feel like you're having I think identity crisis has sides to them. a bit. You don't have to force yourself. It's okay. She's overcome that already. True, that was what. The dungeon was about. It sounds convincing when Yukiko says it. Huh? Uh, really? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm glad you're the first people I got to know here. We say. Oh yeah, we almost forgot your present. The teddy glasses. <laughs> the teddy glasses. Well, you don't have to take them, but well. Teddy gave you a pair of glasses to hold on to for when Risei joined you. What did she say when giving them to her? Senpai, would you be struggling without my help? Yeah. <laughs> I can help you in that world, right? Yes. Yeah. With my power. Yes. So wouldn't it be better if I joined the Absolutely. team? Absolutely. Yes, please. You handed the glasses to Rise. These are kind of like proof that you're one of us. You explained the effect of these glasses to Rise. I see. I do remember you all wearing glasses over there. Thanks, Senpai. Now I'm part of the team, too. Welcome to the team! Yeah, girl! Risei Kuchikawa joined the group. She'll definitely be a strong asset in solving the case. Epic! Investigation team rank 6. Nice. Two in a day. Or close days. Yeah. Cool Arcana. I'll be going to Yasugami High starting tomorrow. Nice! Epic! But I don't have any friends yet, so don't ignore me, alright? No, of course not. I ignore you. I do owe you my life, so you know. <laughs> you know. You know. <laughs> Leave it to me. Your courage has increased. Wow, I didn't realize you were so. I wasn't expecting to get a courage life. point out of that. That was just what seemed right it to sure me. Sure is a rough yeah. time to transfer here, though. The kidnappings, King Moron's death, all that, and exams are soon too. Oh, exams. Oh no, exams. No, I'm depressing myself. That's alright, we've got like what rank four knowledge. I doubt it. They always hold exams, rain or shine. <laughs> I almost got killed by those monsters. Compared to that, <laughs> exams are nothing. Hee <laughs> hee, you'd be surprised on how I can Alrighty kick your then. ass in jeopardy. Let's discuss the case some more tomorrow at our special headquarters. Yo, how's it going? Hi Kanji, we're steady? Dude, Teddy ate Five topsicles. <laughs> so if you count the ones I had before, well, that makes six. So I still win. Kanji. <laughs> no one asked. Mm, they were having oh, a good time. Already. Did What's you enjoy awesome your date, Kanji? Right? Hey. Oh my god. When did you get so chipped? Wow, okay, maybe this will be kind of easy, huh? I love it. I love it. Do you go to Yasugami like Senpai? I'll be starting school there tomorrow, so I hope we get along too. Huh? Oh. Cool. Yeah. Uh, what grade are you in? <laughs> so, where's Teddy? He's over there, finishing up his fifth Topsicle. What are we gonna do with Are we gonna start taking him to school with us? Yes. Yes. Please. Well, I guess I'll- Yusuke's just, just gonna take him home. <laughs> then what? <laughs> Give him a day job as the Jinaz mascot? Question mark? Hey well, guys, my friend burned or... his own post this house down. News. Our top story for the night concerns the latest developments in an ongoing story. Yep. The serial murder case in Inaba has claimed a third victim. The mm. news shocked local residents who have not seen another murder in three months and assumed the story uh, if only you people knew. The deceased if taught only. at a local high school. Since his body was found arranged in a similar manner as the last now. two victims... King Moron's picture is on the news. It seems he really was murdered. What's wrong? Was it someone you know? Meh. Yeah. He 
died? Oh, Nanako. It's okay, he wasn't- Nanako seems scared. I'm here with you. You calmed Nanako down. Your understanding has increased. Epic! I'm alright. Nanako seems somewhat relieved. This marks the second consecutive death after Miss Saki Konishi's, where the target was involved hmm. with Yasogami Hai. Mr. Morooka was known for his strict teaching methods and is said to have had constant friction with his students. The police will be pursuing Something this. Something's really weird about this. Yeah. It's almost to like shift. Just to throw us off. Yeah, throw us off and also shift blame onto someone who might be in the school. And, yeah. Hmm. We now turn to our reporter at the scene for more details. The news is livelier than usual. Dad won't be coming home again today. Ugh, okay. God. Maybe you should try another magic trick. You move a finger on your right hand. To your left hand! <laughs> that fucking music! <laughs> Do it again! Not a go. This time you move a finger on the left hand. To your right hand! <laughs> the little jingle. It moved! Hey, how did you do that? Tell me, tell me! Nako seems to have cheered up. Nice. The fucking jingle. You put Nako to bed and decide to call it a night as well. We did it! Yay, please give me a chance to save. Oh! Oh, hey. What's up, bro? Hey, Igor, what the fuck? This place. Welcome. What it's happened, quite bro? Some time. It seems like you've been called to the Velvet Room. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. Yeah, yeah, we I know. I have summoned you within your dreams. How are things proceeding? Scary. Are you um, gradually drawing nearer to a solution to the mystery? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> it was with how he said excellent. It was great. But your future is not yet closed. In time, a path will open to you. Okay. Our true reason for calling you here tonight is to provide a new form of assistance oh? to help you achieve what? just that. I will appreciate this. Using personas. Have you been using our services diligently? Yes. The aid we will henceforth provide is an advanced form of fusion. I speak of the power to ah. fuse four or more personas at once. Epic. Nice. I am quite certain that this will enable you to command even stronger powers. Gotcha. A new type of fusion is now available. Wow. wow. Your journey will soon reach its soon? climax. Soon? And as a result, many challenges, which I cannot foresee at present, await you. Igor, do you have any idea what the Most fuck happened? Interesting. <laughs> hey, Mor hey, what about King Moron? Until we meet again. Igor, help. I don't understand. Marie, help. Uh... <laughs> oh, God. Wake up in a out. cold sweat, hyperventilating. Right. Yo. Yo, you. I still can't believe it. A homeroom teacher was killed. Now what do we do? I couldn't get that much sleep yesterday. How about you? Are you alright? I'm okay. Well, if we start getting depressed over something like this, we'll never catch the killer, huh? Hmm. Oh yeah. It seems we'll be getting a new homeroom teacher. I wonder who it'll be. Well, I'm pretty sure that they won't be able to find anyone worse than King Moron. Oh god, don't jinx it. Uh ah! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, get your life together. God. The classroom is bustling. I'm scared. Hey, is that stuff about King Moron for real? No, the it news faked it. TV, right? <laughs> it must be true. Hello? Good morning. Hey. Oh, Kashiwagi, your new class teacher starting uh. today. <laughs> I You all probably I know die. already, but now that Mr. Morooka has passed away, I'll be taking good care of you. <laughs> Why are you so weird? Okay. Why don't we start off with a moment of silence for Mr. Morooka? Close your eyes, everyone. What? Well, that's Die. not normal. That should be enough. <laughs> All right, we're good. I'll do my best to fill Mr. Morooka's shoes. So okay. our exams are still on track for next week. As your principal said, it's times like these when the I schedule is hair. most important, Norichan. 
Please be normal. Please just be normal. It must be tough for you. It's like that's what it means worse. to become an adult, little by little. Please just. Oh God. I already can't stand her. Me. First King Moron, and now Kashiwagi. How much worse can it get? Huh? Oh, and one more thing. They're like, oh yeah, we can her. in our first year class, Ms. Kujikawa, uh, was it? At least I don't have to do the King Moron in voice person. anymore. <laughs> oh God, I have to like voice her on TV. So don't get your hopes up, okay? Oh great! You sound like you have issues. Anyway, right class? She's just a piece of inexperienced jailbait. Oh, I want to kill you. Miss Kashiwaki is ranting on and on. What's up with her? Does she think she's Rosette's rival? She doesn't stand a chance against Rosette. I mean, I heard Kashiwaki is on the wrong side of 40. You can hear your classmates gossiping. I bet King Moron would have been ecstatic to hear Rosette had enrolled here. Uh -huh. Someone told me they saw him buying uh -huh. a pinup book. No! I no! No! That sounds kind of pervy. Uh -huh. He annoyed the hell out of me, but I feel bad that he got killed. I don't. I'm glad. You know what? Rosette was on a strip tease show. Oh God. No. Um, a strip tease, dude. If that was true, the paparazzi would have been all over it. Yeah. I'm serious. But the reception went bad right when it was getting to the good part. It dude. Was on that midnight channel everyone keeps talking about. You actually believe that crap? <laughs> How friggin' dense are you? Thank you, Trust random me. student. You were dreaming. Yes, please. please. Protect Risei's reputation. The rumor about the Midnight Channel is spreading further. We'd better wrap this case up quick. Yeah, absolutely. Anyways, let's meet up later. God. Don't make any plans for this afternoon. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Hate this new homeroom teacher. I'm glad everybody is creeped out. <laughs> Teddy, I love you. Finals are next week. We had to we had to sit at a bigger place now. <laughs> yeah. It's been a while since I failed any subjects. Yeah. If by a while you mean all the time. Rude boy. <laughs> Yosuke. Shut up! But you've ever seen my scores. But she always has above average marks in the subjects that she doesn't fail. That's good. Hey, hey why'd you tell him? My scores just. <laughs> Look at Teddy. <laughs> I know, he's just like, I don't know what anyone's talking about. <sighs> Teddy's just like, are we talking about scoring? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing at you. It's just, I thought it would take me a while to make any friends at my new school. She's adorable. Aww. Too bad we under such awful circumstances. Oh yeah, what do you guys think about King Moron's case? It's you fucking weird. Midnight Channel even once. Don't like their new teacher. If this person had been inside the TV, I would have sensed it. God, Teddy. My Teddy voice just, isn't as sharp I have now, a man voice. I can tell that much. I have a person. But they voice. found the body on a foggy day again, right? They said on the news that that crime scene was just the way it was for that announcer and Saki Senpai. Yeah. I really wonder about the culprit's motives. Why was Mr. Moraoka targeted? Hope it wasn't personal. Because there's way too many people who ate a King Moron's guts. True. But didn't you say it's people who get famous on TV who are targeted? Not necessarily famous, the but... choosing targets by watching TV. I picture him as someone who doesn't know the victims at all. Yeah. I think it's worth trying to figure out motives for that type. There are too many people who hold grudges against you for no reason, even if you've never oh, met them. Oh, Rise. <laughs> you sound like you speak from experience, Rise Chan. Oh. But with King Moron, he didn't appear on the Midnight Channel or the regular TV. Oh. I don't get this at all. Really, it yeah, doesn't make sense. Victims in a row from our school. That's got to set off the police's alarm bells. They're not gonna leave any stones at school unturned. Mm. You know, to be honest, Aww. somewhere deep inside, I thought maybe King Moron was the killer. <laughs> Why did you think that? What made you think that? The news says that he was the second victim from Yasugami High, but we all know that's not the case. And I've heard him say more than once that so-and-so deserves to die. But True. now, I feel bad that I doubted him. He was a mm. capital A asshole, but that doesn't justify killing him. However, the fact that he was the fucking perv 
does justify that. It does. Just king moron. I feel sorry for all the victims. Yeah. I can't forgive the killer, no matter what. Well, we'll do what we can for King Moron's sake too. <laughs> yeah. Things I never thought I'd hear school, right? anyone yeah. say. God. So why don't we split up and? That won't be necessary. Oh God. Oh. Oh. Hi, Nato. You. There is no need to examine the case of Mr. Moraoka any further. Smart. Why is that? Smart boy. Apparently, the police have found a suspect. It would oh? be best to let them handle the case from here. Huh? How do you know? I'm on this case as a special investigator, by request of the prefectural police. What? They found a suspect? Who is it? As to his name, I haven't been informed. I do know that he is a high schooler. Oh no. A high school. Who could uh, it be? All our main characters are here. What if it's us? We we would be in police yet. captivity if that was the cha case. Oh, not a student of our high school. Okay. Wait. What? Is it that guy? Who? The dude, like, at the start of the game with the weird eyes that approached Yukiko? <gasps> uh. It seems they are quite confident that this boy is the killer. They have testimonies directly linking him with the incident. I huh. know it's only a matter of time before he is apprehended. Soon this case will be solved and your town will once again be its peaceful, rustic self. The suspect is a high schooler? All right. So why come tell us? That's confidential info, right? Why run right here? True, that's another question. Your game will soon reach its end. Huh? I felt I should at least let you know that. What the fuck? Thanks for the notice. You don't deny, then, that you have involved yourselves in the matter? Well, no matter. I have no reason to say anything further. A game? Aren't you the one who thinks of this as a game? That's true. <sighs> yeah. I don't care if you're a special investigator or an amateur sleuth. <laughs> All you're doing is solving mysteries. She's get, right. Get his ass, Reese. <laughs> Nato, get his ass. Nato, I'm sorry. I don't have anything against you, but also get his ass, Reese. <laughs> right? I can't not support her. Right? <laughs> like, girl, go off. <laughs> you're the one who's playing a game here. One of the victims... She meant a lot to me. How could I possibly treat this like a game? Plus... <laughs> yeah, gang, go off. Go off. <laughs> y Yosuke... Oh, he <laughs> sounds like the way you! I say it. <laughs> That's how you say it! <laughs> That's what I'm saying! <laughs> Damn it! A game. Yosuke. That may be quite true. But why so understanding all of a sudden? Oh, I get it. I was wondering why you'd be wandering around like this when the police have a suspect. What, did they get rid of you now that they have their man? Is that why you came here? You were lonely? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Kate. Detectives normally aren't involved with arrests, and we never harbor any special emotions regarding a case either. Still, it is rather unfortunate that people are only attentive so long as our services uh. are required. Uh. But then, I'm accustomed to it. Uh. Hmm. Things for a sh potential shadow self to be about. <laughs> Much about this case was perplexing, but its solution was surprisingly simple. Well then, I'll be going now. Bye bye, Nato. It's not over yet, Nato. Uh, what was that about? He just said his piece and left. <laughs> I love what I loved when Risa just went off. I know right? <laughs> that was awesome. He's he like, um, this is but important. Is really gonna solve everything? Who knows? It just seems unlikely to me that with all the things we know that the poli- And yet how we're completely unable to figure things out? It just seems unlikely that the police would be able to get someone? Yeah, so it's you, probably an imitator. You all decided to call it a day. Teddy. Oh, you're home! Hi, Nanako. Okay. And that- we're right around the hour mark, so... Yeah. We're gonna call it here. Yeah. 
Thank you so much for watching. Teddy's human form was great. I know, I'm in love. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I think I might have said that already. Um, <laughs> Brain I'm really looking forward to how the story continues. Yeah. But we'll find out next time. Yeah. See you then. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.